Hey there. Hey everybody. I know it's um, probably getting close to bedtime and everybody's probably busy. And my name's Andrea Stutt and I am the Ruby uh, ambassador or one of the Ruby ambassadors, sorry, um, on your team. And um, Melissa and I have been talking about um, all of the, hey ladies, we had been, Melissa and I had been, you know, just talking through strategy like we had a lot of our teams added so many people in March. And so, you know, one of the big things is, you know, we talk a lot about how to attract people, how to make them curious, and how to send scripts. We have all the tools in our back office that really come from Bob Heilig's training, which is amazing. Um, we have the Doe app that has scripts um, for reach outs and follow ups and all that. But um, something that, you know, there's just no denying that is equally important is as soon as we have had them agree to sign up as a customer or ambassador, um, we need to retain them, right? I mean, I don't know about y'all, but it's hard to watch you, you know, sign up a lot of people, but then you don't retain them after a month, right? And so I shared with Melissa one of my biggest passions um, that I want to do a better job at, that I want to train my team to do a better job at, is to uh, follow up closely. Um, I've been doing this business now for three years, and I do tend to attract, and some of you guys can raise your hands, I do, do tend to attract those 40-something age range women with some kind of random autoimmune issue going on, or they've had frequent um, antibiotic use over the years, or maybe they've had um, been on different pain medications or different medications. Um, all those things I have found in my journey as an ambassador helping other people is those things can cause some detox, right? And it's super important to be following closely with people so they don't quit, um, so that they see the results. So this isn't just about us retaining people, but retention really is about providing the best best possible care to the individuals that have trusted you with their health. So I want to just um, touch on the main things that I think are super important. Um, okay, so I actually had to type it up so I didn't forget anything. So I called it constant care, commitment, and consistency. Keep them close. Okay, so remember the reason that you say this, your folks signed up with you is because they trust you. Um, you're the one that's caring for them. You're the one that's knowledgeable. Um, you're the one that they would trust to check in on them. Um, they don't know the ins and outs of all of this. They don't understand. I mean, unless you have that one very, um, some people are self-educated and they understand detox before they ever even reach out to you. But most people don't understand it fully, though. They don't understand our products fully. So it is our job to make sure that they understand. But that's a matter of following up closely. You can't just give it all to them all at once in the very beginning and then leave them for a month. They're not going to read everything. Most people get so overwhelmed, they just stop with when their bottles arrive and they just read the bottles. I mean, how many people have you signed up, sent them all the information, and they just read the bottles and take it all that first night they get the box, right? It happens. Okay, so, um, so it's, in my opinion, asking the right questions closely, troubleshooting their detox before they get out of hand could be some of the main keys to our retention. Uh, you want retention for both your business but also for them. Um, you want them to stick with it and see success, yes? Okay, so one of the things that I like to let them know too is I will be following up closely with them because I want them to see success. So you just kind of let them know out of the gate, I'm going to be your cheerleader, I'm going to be checking in on you, I'm going to be making sure that you're seeing success. They're going to know that you're going to be doing that. Um, okay, so, so basically day one, I send them the link to their back office. I personally do sign up most of my people myself. Um, I, I don't have trouble doing that. Most people say, sure, go right ahead. But obviously some people are going to do it themselves. Um, but I send them the link to their back office. I screenshot that little welcome, Susie, to Plexus or whatever. I screenshot that and I send it to them all excited. Um, I send them the link to their back office. 
Um, I tell them, you know, this is your subscription date. It's set for blank uh, for the next month. Let me know if you need help with that. And I just kind of leave that alone. Um, I let them know um, to be watching for an email the next day. I'm going to be sending them an email from me that's going to talk to them about how to ease into the products and give them some info on detox. So I let them know right away that those are some things they're going to expect the next day. So I start planting those seeds. Seeds of you need to read the letter, you need to ease into the products, there will be some detox you need to learn about. Um, I think one thing I have learned over the years is doing this is I used to think if I just tell them one time they're going to get it. But I've learned that repeating things over and over is really what we should be doing because people just can only consume so much information at once and they're just not going to catch it all the first time. Like for us, it's so second nature, but for them, it's like so foreign. Try to imagine like when you go to the doctor's office or something and they just start telling you all this stuff and they're using all this medical jargon and they're just telling you all these things and you're like, I don't even know what you're saying. So you just kind of like it goes, whoop right kind of related a little bit to that you know they're just you need to be sensitive to the fact that you're going to have to keep repeating this valuable information okay so that's day one and i do have this all printed up and i can include it in a file or in the comments if someone wants to see it um so day two i usually message or text them whichever they prefer and i've asked them that by the way I usually will say something like, good morning. Briefly, I will explain what to expect. However, please look for an email from me and print it out for easy reference. The most important things I want to convey is these products work at balancing your body to promote healing. This takes some time and may even involve some detox. We help this by easing into your products. Please see your info letter, but I will also include the schedule below so you'll have multiple references. I'm so excited to help you flourish and feel your best. So I send that in a message. I mentioned detox again. I mentioned easing into it again, but I'm positive. I'm ready to see you flourish. I'm excited. So, you know, so anyway, so that's day two. Also on day two, if they're not already on my potentials page, I have a potentials and customers page. Okay. It's all one page. Um, it's called live well. I will say, um, if they're not already on the page, I'll add them to the page. But most of my people usually are by this time because that's how we've been communicating. That's how I grew their beliefs so that they signed up. So um, I will tag them in one detox post. There's this one detox post I think is really good. It's written by Jessica Hugendorn, and it's got like the picture of a train on the front. It says what to expect your first three to six months or something like that. And it talks all about what to expect. I will tag them in that post, and in the message I'll say, by the way, I tagged you in a post about detox. Um, please look through it and let me know if you have any questions. So I'll kind of give that first little seed of understand what to expect. I think that's another thing is setting people up with very realistic expectations is super helpful long term. I've learned that too the hard way. Um, let's see. Sorry. Yeah, so I let them know I tagged them and asked them to look over it. Okay, then also on day two, um, I will email them the welcome letter. It's called like welcome and get ready to flourish. I got that idea from Julie Harbour. I love the way she put that. Um, it's a short letter. I've condensed it. It used to be long. Now it's short. And then I do like four attachments with it, like the triplex schedule with some helpful tips. There's a new one out there I like. It's got the purple writing, and then it's got like drink your water, watch your calories, stuff like that. I like it. Um, anyway, I'll send that with another detox graphic, measurement tracker, and then like another if information kind of graphic on what is detox um, along with the letter. So, and the letter um, will have how to take their products in a little bit more detail. I've made about four or five letters already with the new welcome packs and there's tailored to the welcome packs and that's helped a lot because it's already written and people can just copy and paste it from our files and then just send it in a letter. So um, there's that. So um, let's see, sorry. Okay, so day, th okay, so that was day two. I sent them the email, okay. Day three, I asked them if they received the email, so I double check 
And if they have any questions yet, I also ask them to let me know as soon as their products arrive. Day four, I'm usually hearing from them, or I will message to see if their products have arrived. Um, I use Brooke Hemingway's purple follow-up graphic. There's a purple follow-up graphic that I really like, and I'm happy to put that in the comments when I'm done. Um, and I, I call it purple follow-up graphic because it's purple. Um, anyway, I like that. So the only thing is, so that's for your typical person, that graphic. It's like you're going to follow up um, on day four. You're going to follow up at the beginning of week two, the beginning of week three, and the beginning of week four. That's what her graphic has. And then it has the questions that you'll ask which I love because sometimes we go, what do we ask? You know, how's it going? Well, that doesn't usually get the right answer. So her graphic has like very specific questions and I always look at that. Um, the only exception, and this is really important, is if your person that's starting on the products has any kind of autoimmune issue at all, um, if they have digestive issues, like if there's somebody that are chronically constipated they have IBS, they have chronic diarrhea, obviously Crohn's, colitis, anything like that. Um, or if they have anxiety and depression. Um, all of those people are people that I follow way more closely um, in the beginning. The reason why, like with the folks with anxiety and depression, what I have found is they struggle to be consistent. Um, that's just something that they struggle with and they get anxious if anything is not right so I will I follow them very closely and when I say very closely I will typically follow follow up with them every two to three days in messenger or text um, for at least the first few weeks just till they get to the safer zone and they're doing okay and then I'll follow up with them every week depending on how they're doing um, so let's see so after the first month as long as they're moving and grooving and everything's going well I may only follow up twice in the second month and then once a month after that. That's assuming that we're not already talking often and things like that. But I never let a month go past without checking in with my people. Even if they're just wholesale buyers and they're happy, I still check in on them or at least send them a personal message. Um, sometimes the question is, well, I don't really feel like my people like it when I message them. Uh, Really, the bottom line is, is they may not always be communicating back with you. It's a, it's a reality. It happens to me, too. But I always feel like as long as I know I'm doing my job and I can say I did follow up with her, I did ask her the questions, I did check on her often, I at least know I gave it my all and I didn't just abandon her and just said, let me know when you need something, and then they quit on me. You know what I'm saying? At least I know I did my part. And I think, too, long, long run – they're going to come back around at some point and say, you know, thank you for always, I've had people do that. Thank you for always keeping up with me and always messaging me, even though I didn't message you back, you know, so they notice is what I'm saying. Um, so anyway, um, I just, I just feel like, you know, we need to be communicating closely um, and letting them know we care about them. And I think that that is imperative to retention. Um, of course, you know, um, there's always those exceptions to the rule. You could do all the right things and they still may stop for different reasons and that's okay. Um, another thing that um, I didn't say here, it, yeah, I didn't say, but I want to mention is we put people, I'm getting to the point where I put almost everybody on liver refresh, now liver refresh, um, because it really does help with detox. So that might be something as soon as the, if someone has any of those autoimmune or digestive issues, you may go ahead the day they order their plexus, go ahead and send on the link and tell them why you think they should order this. It's like $10 for a 90 day supply, not a 90, no, a, a one month supply. And that's usually all that they need. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> okay. And so one more thing that I think is really helpful with this and it's working on our team is we call it a support thread. And so, you know, like, when you add a new ambassador, a new customer, and then you introduce them to your upline in a message, it's kind of like that, but it's like it takes it a step further. So the support thread is usually one or two of us above, and it's like, hey, welcome. This is our upline. She'll be of help to you. This is a little bit about her. And then I say, hey, I'm so excited. Tell me your health goals. 
and so we introduce ourselves we make it about the person because it is about the person uh, and we just let them know we're there for them and then I'm in on the conversation and so like my downline Megan will follow up with those people closely and I'll be um, privy to the information that's going on but I'm not reading all of the messages honestly because it could get overwhelming right if you have like 30 people and you've got all these messages going on at once so um, it's not something that I keep track of but I'm on the conversation and if they need me they just tag me or they send me a private message to say hey could you jump on that thread and help with this one thing because I don't know what to tell her that way they, they see the support they see the community but then also I can help my especially my newer ambassadors um, that are helping troubleshoot I can help them know what questions to ask and how to troubleshoot so it's really a good situation all around so I highly recommend doing the support threads and we even label it Sarah's support thread which makes it easy when you have to go search it you just type in Sarah's and then you'll see the group thing pop up and that's been really easy for um, easy doable and it's been helpful um, I also think it helps you to be accountable for following up um, it's easy to forget but if you know like Okay, my uplines on there and she's she's gonna ask me if, I, if I've checked it on so and so like I think it's just all around it's just a good practice to get into um, okay so something I wanted to just mention this is kind of outside of customer care but it, it isn't it's the same thing <laughs> we have a lot of people you know that sign up with the triplex or one of the bigger welcome packs with the triplex in it or whatever but let's just pretend it's just the triplex so then the second month, they think they don't need the ProBio 5 and the BioCleanse. Um, like they think, you know, because they eased into their triplex, right? We all know that sometimes it can take like two weeks to ease into everything depending on how they're doing. So rather than say, oh, you don't need those items, you just need Slim the second month, what I usually do is this. Well, first of all, they need to work up to four BioCleanse because they need that dosage of magnesium that's the recommended daily allowance um, and so obviously you're going to have your exceptions to the rule like people that just can't tolerate for like you know I don't know what I'm talking about but your average person it's not about getting them to the point where they're going regularly and then stop it to uh, bio cleanse it's they need to have four if they can tolerate four they need to be on four um, so if that they're on four they're going to need a new bottle um, and then on the ProBio 5, what I usually say is, hey, you're going to have some extra ProBio 5 this next month, but I still would like you to go ahead and get it in the triplex because, number one, it's cheaper as a combo. And then number two, around the third month, we're going to increase your ProBio 5 to four a day for probably a month straight. And at that point, you're going to need extra ProBio 5, and that's going to come in handy. So I just kind of let them know that. Um, I have realized that I have dropped the ball with my team and not all of them know to try to increase that ProBio 5 around month 3. The reason why I do this is I learned it from some other really um, uh, intuitive people in Plexus in the past, but there's usually like more detox you need to get to. There's more layers you need to get to, and usually around month 3 is a good month to go ahead and hit that hard um, because they kind of work through some of the other stuff. So that's why we do that. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know if that helps. I mean, hopefully it does. Um, but my big passion is like not just recruiting, but retaining and helping the people that have joined us see the results um, and talk about it because they can't help it because it's working so well for them. So anyway, all right. Well, you guys have a wonderful night. And uh, thank you for giving me your time, and I will talk to y'all soon. You, feel free to put uh, questions in the comments. All right, bye.